I dread him coming into the room. Why haven't you told him you're going to have a child? I don't know. Listen, darling, you've got to tell him. Either he learns to behave like anyone else and looks after you. Or, or you must get out of this madhouse, this menagerie. He doesn't know what love or anything else means. You see that bear and that squirrel? Well, that's him and that's me. Meaning? The game we play. Bears and squirrels, squirrels and bears. Yes, it's quite mad, I know. Quite mad. I didn't realise he was a bit fey as well as everything else. Oh, there's nothing fey about Jimmy. It's just all we seem to have left. And now, even they are dead. Poor, silly little animals. They were all love and no brains. Listen to me. We've got to fight him. Fight or get out. Otherwise, he will kill you. There you are. Hello, Helena. Are you ready? Yes, here is already. Give Jimmy a call, will you? Right. Hey, you horrible man! Stop that bloody noise and come and get your tea! Going out? Yes. Pictures? No. Church. Oh, I see. Both of you? Yes. Are you coming? Uh, well, I, I haven't read the papers properly yet. Tea, tea, tea. Let's have some tea, shall we? Oh, hello, boy. Oh. Give me your tea. A blinking trumpet. Why don't you stuff it away somewhere? Do you like it, all right? Anyone who doesn't like real jazz hasn't any feeling either for music or people. <laughs> Rubbish. That's what you put my point for you. Did you know that Webster played the banjo? No. Does he really? He said he'd bring it along next time he came. Oh, no. Why is it that nobody knows how to treat the...